So now in this video we're going to take a PNP bipolar junction transistor and a capacitor. We got a push button switch here and the way we have those two wired up to light an LED. When we uh, press and hold the push button switch we just get a brief flash of the LED. And uh, this is uh, kind of finicky though. I might accidentally uh, trigger it when I don't mean to. We're doing pretty good. There we go. I let go and uh, accidentally made an electrical connection and we saw another brief flash but the main thing is that uh, if things work out perfectly one long uh, press of the switch is one brief flash of the LED until we reset it like that and now we'll zoom in to get a closer look at the circuit so we got a PNP bipolar junction transistor 2N3906 we made the same circuit with the NPN bipolar junction transistor a couple of videos ago everything is the same other than uh, polarities so we're using the 2N3906. Now the emitter is to the positive supply right there. We need a little bit of emitter to base current before we'll get a lot of emitter to collector current. And while the transistor is on fully, the load will uh, set the current. And as we saw in this circuit, the transistor will shut off uh, pretty quick. So we got that little bit of emitter to base current. When the switch is closed, we connect to ground. Once the capacitor charges though, uh, as much as it can, current stops completely from emitter to base and then to ground, and thus there's no more emitter to collector current. The transistor turns off. So you can see a uh, positive supply to the top pin, the emitter. We got the uh, flat side to the left. Base in the middle, we got a 100,000 ohm resistor going to the positive supply there. And again, with these values, I just reused the values I used in the NPN bipolar junction transistor video. Um, I didn't try to make the circuit perfect by any means. I just got it working and pretty much went from there. Then collector LED and then a 220 ohm resistor order doesn't matter. So we have uh, when they're in series right there. As long as the LED is in the right direction where the anode, the longer leads more positive, the short lead, the cathode is more negative. We just need uh, that rule. So middle pin, the base of the transistor, comes to the capacitor over there. As I said before, we uh, close the switch, we have that path to ground. Now the capacitor will be charged when I release the switch. That's why we got the two uh, resistors there that uh, go to the uh, positive supply now. And they go to the positive supply because if it's uh, more negative, then the transistor is going to light up. So that helps hold it off, uh, that one right there mostly so in any case now we have a path for uh, it's got to go to that positive rail and then over to that positive rail uh, through that uh, resistor but ultimately they connect both sides of the resistor with uh, of the capacitor I mean with resistance so it can discharge and get ready and it looks like uh, even though they're high value uh, resistors it looks like it uh, still works uh, pretty quick on discharging it